I'm Jeremy Rodriguez, an MBA candidate at Leeds Beckett University, and this is my assignment vlog for the Contemporary Marketing module. The focus of this assignment is an environmental audit for the Smartphone Strategic Business Unit of Samsung UK. This Korean multinational accounts for 34% of the UK market share by sales volume and is positioned at the premium end of the market, where its main competitor is Apple. I've undertaken both macro and micro environmental analyses. For the macro environmental analysis, I've used the PESEL tool, and then I've conducted a SWOT analysis and the related TOES analysis. For the micro environment, I've used Porter's five forces. The main findings from the PESEL analysis relate to the impact of Brexit, on the UK economy, the value of the pound, and the potential for taxes to be levied against EU imports to the UK, including Samsung smartphones, which are manufactured out with the UK. There are also legal issues in relation to actions being brought against competitor Apple for the slowing of its iPhone products. In contrast to the PESEL analysis, the SWOT analysis incorporates both external and internal factors, though it does not structure the analysis of external factors in the same way that PESEL does. In the SWOT analysis, which I've incorporated into a TOES matrix here, we can see how the high price of the iPhone X and Apple's iPhone slowing issues provide opportunities for Samsung. At the same time, Apple and other competitors as well as its brand image following issues relating to exploding batteries, are threats. Samsung has both strengths that it could use to realise these opportunities and minimise threats, but also weaknesses that need to be accounted for in strategic decision making. Having looked at the macro environmental analysis, we can now consider the key findings from the micro environmental analysis of Samsung UK smartphones in the UK market. Here we can see the five factors in Porter's Five Forces model. New entrants to the smartphone market in the UK will be limited by barriers described by Porter himself in his original 1979 publication, including the economies of scale of Apple and Samsung who dominate the market already. That said, other competitors have seen market share rising recently, and substitutes are possible factors that Samsung UK will need to consider. In particular, the growth of phablets in the Asian market may translate into growth in the UK market, and wearable tech, including smartwatches, may also change how the market behaves. Buyers also have power in this market, as these are expensive devices that are chosen selectively and buyers may purchase them from competitors instead. And so factors like this must also be considered in the micro environment. Having considered these analyses, it's important to review them in the context of the strengths and weaknesses of the tools concerned. All of the tools that have been used are cross-sectional in nature and so provide a snapshot of the market at any one time. It's important to run them frequently to have up-to-date information, particularly during turbulent times as the smartphone market is going through in the UK at present. The TOES matrix has particular advantages in that it can aid strategic decision making, particularly if used in combination with the PESEL analysis to provide structure to looking at the external macro-environmental factors. Porter's Five Forces has assumptions that are largely met in this market. So overall I've ranked these tools in terms of their utility for this exercise as follows, with Pestle and Toes being the most useful. In summary, there are opportunities for Samsung smartphones to become the market share leaders in the UK, but there are challenging threats that also need to be considered carefully. Thank you for watching.